Councillor Shah, thank you so much for giving me the time today. We're here on St. Mark's Road, the scene of the epic grand iftar yesterday. Um, massive congratulations to the whole organising team. It looked like a fantastic event. Give uh, us at Must and our readers and viewers just an idea of how you feel after, after the iftar. Junior, yes, so you've got it spot on. It was a team effort, it was fantastic. It certainly was epic, in unprecedented numbers and just the sheer tapestry of cultural diversity here. Yeah, they, it was just incredible. And um, people came here, actually shared bread with the Muslim community during this auspicious month of Ramadan, especially on the 27th on the significance that holds for, for Muslims. And fantastic um, opportunity for people to actually go inside the beautifully refurbished mosque there. And um, certainly nothing like this has ever been done Certainly not in Bristol. Certainly not in the in, in the southwest. And I feel that this must be one of the the most unique events of its kind in the UK. And uh, something that, that we want to build upon. And um, just this level of engagement um, and community cohesion with local residents, not only from Eastern but from around Bristol. Absolutely fantastic. And there were actually people inside the mosque who were crying. They were so overwhelmed. They've never been in there before. I mean, it was fantastic to have that sort of reaction from the wider community. And I think at the moment with, with some of the things that are going on, it was fantastic for the Muslim community to invite the wider community to come in and enjoy iftar with us. Um, so that, that was a fantastic idea. Is this something that you'd be looking to do again? Absolutely, because we want to build upon this and we want to make sure that we do it every year. So this is definitely not a one-off. And it was great the way that all the local businesses actually came together. And a big shout out to all the volunteers, especially here. We couldn't have done without the volunteers and the sisters who actually did the cooking. Incredible. Um, you know, uh, special thanks to uh, Sister Samin Ekbar, to Muna Talha, uh, Brother Mohammed Al Sharif. Fantastic. You know, he's led, led by example. Um, fantastic work by the Mosque Management Committee um, and the whole team in there. Um, and. Um, there's so many people that, that I'd like to actually single out, but especially the local businesses, the way that they came came together. And uh, and it's all about teamwork. And you know, Bristol's a real beacon, considering what's happening um, nationally, um, the kind of initiatives that we've got in here in Bristol um, are the kind of initiatives that we want to see taking place uh, up and down the country. And it was lovely hearing Thangam Debna the Bristol West MP speak, sharing her, her thoughts, um, just reminding us of the sentiments of the late Joe Cox. And um, actually it was Joe Cox, the late Joe Cox MP's birthday just yesterday. Um, so I, I think, yeah, these That's kind certainly of, an event that she would have enjoyed. Absolutely. And these kind of events, they, they actually make us stronger, uh, stronger and a lot more united. Yes, most, most definitely. It was fantastic to see hundreds of people from all the uh, varying communities in Bristol there. What was your personal highlight of, of the evening? There were many highlights, but I mean, um, I can remember seeing the police officers picking up, you know, crates of food, moving them out about, yeah, actually serving people. That was great. Um, uh, listening to Vanessa, who actually lives on Henrietta Street, just off St. Mark's Road. She's been here for over 50 years. You come and actually talk, um, share her thoughts and um, say that, yeah, this is our Bristol, this is our Eastern, um, this is our mosque. And that, um, that you yeah, know, the, this event yesterday, the Iftari, is all about unity. And um, just, just hearing her thoughts about, you know, um, what makes this area so special. Bristol, thank you so much. Uh, what an event, the grand iftar. Looking forward to the next one. And I think uh, yesterday really showed that together we're stronger and um, it's not so easy to divide us. So thank you so much. Thank you to all the organizers. Thank you, Councillor Shah, for your time as well. And we'll be looking forward. Uh, sorry, you wanted to? Junior, I, I must remember to also mention the Councillor of the Bristol Moss, um, the Bristol Somali Forum, the Pakistan Association of Bristol, um, uh, all organisations doing all some organizations. great work. So everyone came together, and that's fantastic. And to also, see. Abdul Malik from the mosque, um, all the brothers and sisters that have helped us uh, be so successful. BMCS, um, a lot of people, but especially, especially the volunteers, especially the sisters. 
a big shout out to the sisters. So a big, big shout out to all the volunteers yeah. and everyone that helped to bring this together. Councillor Shah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I know much. you're a really busy man. Thanks for the 10 minutes and it's really good to see you it's again. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thanks.